guys, Lassic here. Today we have some Disney Simpson light ups, and then we also have the brand new Finding Dory Simpsons. Plus, we also have one special Alice plush that I got from Disney Store Online. So, without further ado, let's get started! We're actually going to get started by looking at this Alice plush. I made the mistake of not getting this plush when I went to Disney Store New York and I thought, you know, this plush would be available everywhere. I did not find it in my local Disney store, which is about like 40 minutes away. Oh, there's something there. So I ended up purchasing this one from Disney Store online and she happened to be on sale. I believe they also had one with blue version and also the white rabbit but they didn't have those online otherwise i would have gotten those as well so as you can see this one is kind of similar to tim sim in the way that it's laying flat on the ground but as you can see she has her legs and then she even has her arms she has a keychain on top and she also has like a little clock right here pocket watch which is really really cute and this one is also a plush so the price tag says that she was $12.95 but I remember getting her at a lot cheaper price her headband is done with a ribbon detailing and the plush material is just really 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 soft on her face you can even see that they gave her a little nose right here which is Mm, which feels like a little button nose and then she even has little blushing details her eyelashes and her eyebrows are actually embroidered on here's the detail on her clothes she is overall really really cute and i kind of wish that they're going to make more versions of this kind of plush that would be actually really nice to have and the keychain part is actually quite large as you can see so that was my alice plush oh and by the way guys don't mind me with this um i just need to get some air but I got a mosquito bite and it's still healing. But anyway, let's look at some Finding Dory Simpsons. These are the mini Simpsons. I'm not sure if they released the medium ones. I only really collect the small ones unless I really like the medium ones. But here is Dory. The colors on these plushies are super bright. And I apologize ahead of time because I don't know a lot of the characters name because they have not been introduced yet well since the movie is not out yet one thing i found really interesting about this one is that dory actually has a little tag on her fin right here as you can see so this is dory i even love her little freckle detailing she's so cute and her belly is blue then right here we have marlin which is nemo's dad and he's a clownfish so of course his colors are super duper bright and you can tell because he has even fins and then also you can even see the little line detailing <laughs> wrinkle detailing on his face all the details on his face are um, embroidered on his belly is orange he's quite cute and of course to go with him i also have nemo which is in exactly the same colors they're super cute together and even the belly colors are exactly the same because they're both clownfish but as you can see nemo has one smaller fin than the other he is adorable though. And another thing is that their top fin right here, they're different. Nemo has like three little bumps, whereas Marlin has just two. Then we get to Hank. I am really, really curious to find out what he's going to be like. He sounds like a, or at least from the trailer, he seemed like a very funny character. Ooh, there's a thread that I would have to cut. He is a octopus or um, somebody says septopus or something like that because he has seven legs and even... On the bottom, you can see that he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven legs. <laughs> and here is the details on his face, which I thought was quite cute, but funny at the same time. And his little top bit is actually a separate piece that is actually sewn on. And we also have Crush the Turtle. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> I really, really love his chilled face and his facial expression is just on point. And in case you guys are wondering, these little details on the top, they're definitely not painted. They feel like, I don't know, they, it feels like they're part of the fabric, but they're different colors. Here's a closer look. And here are the details on his shell. And his little legs and his belly. He's overall really cute. I was kind of hoping to find a little tail, but that's okay. He's still really cute. Okay, so now this is where it gets tricky for me because <laughs> I don't know the name of these characters. I guess I could look it up on um, Disney website, but I don't know. But anyway, here is a stingray and I just really love the polka dotted patterns of these. He, she. They're really, really cute. And the belly is this really um, light gray color. So something about this polka dot pattern that they use on this plush makes this plush look so magical in my opinion. And same thing goes with this one. 
This is a whale that I do not know the breed of. So if you guys know which breed of whale this one is, please let me know. But as you can see, this one also has polka dot patterns with some lines. So cute, oh my gosh. And this one just looks so happy and I just love these like flicked eyeline or like flicked eyelashes. So cute! Then here we have a beluga whale, which I don't know the name of. But she is still really really cute and because she is this um, off-white color, it's so easy to spot any kind of dirt on her. Here is her face, or his face. I love the little like dotted stitching going on on top of the lips. So cute! Details are just so adorably done. And here we have an otter. I'm not sure if its name is going to be otter or I don't know. I recently opened blind bags of them and it just said otter. So I still don't know the name of this character. But this one is just really really cute. There's the tail, um, his legs, and here's a close-up on his face. His little whiskers are also embroidered on. Very very cute. And finally we get to these Disney Simpson light-ups. So I found these at Toys R Us recently and I only got Stitch and Donald. I do want all of them. But I decided to just get two for this week. As you can see, these are some of the ones you can get. I'm assuming that they're going to come out with more of them, but these are just the first release. They all just look so cute and I really, really want Marie and I really, really want Daisy as well. So let's take him out of the box and give you guys a closer look. Yeah, so as you can see, he chatters and they're quite sensitive. Um, as you can see on the bottom, there's a Velcro and this is... Yep, they're going to be talking the whole time. And this is where the battery goes. And here is how he looks. And I will definitely give you guys a size comparison in a bit. But as you can see, you just tap... And he starts to talk. And what's really cute about these plushies is that um, their face, their cheeks light up, which I, oh my gosh, I just, so cute! And here is my Stitch plush for comparison. I feel like the more recent ones are more felt, but mine is quite old. I got it when he first came out, I think, and he's quite um, not stuffed. I didn't notice it until now, but as you can see, the Lida plush is slightly bigger than the Mini Simpson, and the ears are also really big on both of them. The details are pretty much the same on both. And of course, um, because this one is smaller, it has less details. This one on the hair part, you can see that there are two spikes, whereas the Lida plush has three spikes. Now let's take a look at our Donald. So I've been actually told that in UK, they also have these, but they're not in a box. The boxes are actually quite nice though, because you can actually stack them inside your box with the small ones. I think that will be really cute. <laughs> so he also chatters as you can see, um, or as you could hear. And I feel like the chatter sound is exactly the same on every single one of them. It would have been nicer if they actually gave a little variation. But I really like how they gave more dimension to his hat and the colors are super vibrant and of course there's a little velcro for the battery compartment. He's overall really 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 cute. And let's give you guys a little comparison between the small one which I thought was quite interesting. It might be different for other ones too but as you can see there's quite a bit of difference. Of course they're wearing their bow tie but then the bow tie on this one has more detailing as you can tell. This Donald has little blushing whereas this one doesn't but I can totally understand that because when you actually hit him his cheeks light up too which by the way on stitch it didn't really show that much it just looked red but because he is made with white plush you can tell that in the center was yellow and then like the rim was red then his hat of course got more detailing personally i kind of like the way that they did for the little plush better i don't know i just think it's more cartoony this is nice for the dimension but it's kind of like sticking out and it could possibly just cover up the face of other plush that you stack on top, but then, yeah, it wouldn't make sense to have it in the middle either. I don't know. And there's the little ribbon detailing on the hat as well. And one of the major differences is, of course, the colors. This one has light blue, whereas this one has more loyal blue. 
and yes he is very sensitive belly colors look very similar to each other both do not have tail detailing which could have been nicer if this one had a little tail but yeah regardless i think he's really adorable Here are all of the Simsims I shared with you guys, plus the Alice plush. I'm really excited about the light of Simsims, and I really hope that they will continue with more of them. And also, I really hope that they're going to make more of these Alice style ones because they just look so adorable. What do you guys think about these plush? Let me know in the comment section below. And are you guys excited about finding Dory? Because I totally am. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!